Hi, I am Abhilash, uh, Assistant Professor at IIT Delhi Computer Science. We organized this uh, Winter System School in December 2022 and the goal was basically to tell students all across India about the cool research that is happening in systems. Yeah, so I basically taught cloud computing, which is distributed systems plus virtualization. So my name is Abhilash. I will be talking about cloud. And uh, so this series of lectures are taken from a course that we teach over a semester, right? So we'll mostly study four different systems in four lectures. And in every system, there is a cool idea that I hope you really, really appreciate and enjoy. Yeah, so in semester long course, we have like around 40 hours of teaching. Whereas uh, in system school, we had somewhere around seven and a half hours. Right, so, <clears throat> so this was a bit of a challenge to compress so much material into seven and a half hours. But it was also a good forcing function to force us to prioritize. So we couldn't cover everything, obviously, but we gave them some idea of uh, breadth, like what are the different or the what are the coolest ideas which are there in this topic. Now you also have to worry about so many new things, right? You also have to worry about parallelization, right? And scalability. You have to worry about fault tolerance. You have to worry about stragglers. You have to worry about locality. You have to worry about uh, load balancing, right? So, I mean, for this poor programmer, this is just too much, right? So, it's just too many things that they have to worry about while also managing the correctness of the program. So I'm going to, you know, give glimpses of different uh, ideas and issues in cybersecurity, and then I'm going to discuss three different types of uh, security attacks that an attacker can mount on a on a system uh, to be able to bypass the privilege separation that, uh, that that the system implements. Side channels are where you actually don't deal with the real bits, but you just kind of look at other behavior of the computer or of the system figure out what may be going on. I want to introduce this concept of a queen. Uh, a queen is a program, a computer program, which takes no input and produces a copy of its own source code as its only output. Now, let's say I wanted to uh, plant a Trojan horse into the compiler and say, if you ever see the login program, then, you know, just accept this uh, degenerate password or something like that. Yeah, so systems is a very applied field. So because of that, it becomes very fun. You can try out new hypotheses and you can build a system around it. And when you see a much better performance or a much better throughput or latency, it's a very joyful experience to see things working. And many times you build a system that never existed before or you build a new programming model that never existed before. So systems has this constant flux of ideas which are motivated from things above the system, which are user applications, or below the systems, which are network or hardware. So systems is never short of research problems. And uh, there's a lot of impact you can make uh, on the industry and in academia by doing systems research. So if you are interested, I'll very much encourage you to do it. If you are interested in systems, I would encourage uh, doing, trying to do some projects uh, but those projects have to be slightly long term, at least six months to one year. And if you want to engage with IIT Delhi, there are a lot of great faculty here at IIT Delhi who can who are doing great research in systems. So you can apply for PhD, masters, or do internships, or come to the next winter system school as you desire.